children and to my world, and to my world. I, shall always I shall always be effective, be effective. and efficient, and efficient. And You know what? It is a battle to stand and represent what God had called you to be. There are resistances that are trying to make you not to be who God said you are. You declare, oh child of God, I cannot be a failure. I cannot be defeated. And the truth is that there are several people that have been defeated in life and destiny. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning to you. Good evening to you. <laughs> My name is Pastor Joy. I'm so glad to be back again this evening. We were here in the morning in the platform of Behold Your God. And here we are again in the evening. We are handling kinds of prayer. We are wrapping it up in these platforms and we are trusting God that as we wrap up the remaining days of this year, we should be able to understand these dimensions of prayer. And we are trusting God at, at, as we step into next year, we are going to be stepping into next year armed with the details of what we need to prevail. You are not giving life to resist. You are giving life to fulfill destiny and you cannot fulfill destiny when situations and conditions that you find yourself is bringing you down. God says that he wants to see you more than conquerors. He has defeated the enemy. You are supposed to stand and enforce that victory. Hallelujah. So we are looking at kinds of prayers. We have handled so many things already. So we are going straight into what we have. If you miss any of them, please try and look at them so that you will not miss out of what the Lord is doing concerning prayer in this season. In the morning, we looked at kinds of prayer and we began to look at the other ones we have not handled before. We continue today as we look further into other kinds of prayer. Today, we are looking at prevailing prayer and fervent prayer and i mentioned very clearly until you understand why the bible said that we should pray all kinds of prayer then you will understand why you are supposed to prevail in every area of your life if you don't engage in all kinds of prayers you will discover there are areas where your prayers are answered and there are areas where your prayers are not answered answered. They are not answered because God is unwilling to answer them. They are unanswered because you have not prayed the right way. The Bible says you pray and receive not. You ask and receive not because you are asking a mess. You are not asking in order. And when you ask in order, you are sure the Bible says that this is a confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and if we know that he hears us the bible says we receive the petition that we have of him so we continue today as we look at i don't have time to read through the kinds of prayers we have i'm gonna go straight to look at what we are having today which is what prevailing prayer and fervent prayer these are two, two brutal kinds of prayer i'm gonna start by reading some scriptures that told us and explained to us the kind of prayer i'm gonna start by reading the book of acts of the apostles chapter 12 i'm gonna read from verse 1 to verse 5 the bible says now at that time Herod Agrippa, the king of the Jews, arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to harm them. 
And he had James, the brother of John. You know the one I'm talking about? James, John. God, Jesus will always speak Peter, James, and John. That same James is whom this king, Herod, picked up. And the Bible says, verse 2, And he had James, the brother of John, put to death with a sword. Wow. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to have Peter. Imagine that. Hmm. He had Peter arrested as well. This was during the days of the unleavened bread, the Passover week. When he had seized Peter, he put him in prison, turning him over to four squads of soldiers for four each to guard him in rotation throughout the night. Planning after the Passover to bring him out before the people for execution. Now look at verse 5. So Peter was kept in prison. But fervent and persistent prayer for him was being made to God by the church. I want you to know this. Fervent, persistent prayer for him was being made. So it can be made. It was being made by the church to God. I said, until you engage in some kind of prayers, you will not be able to assess some kind of results. And some of us are watching the enemy capture what is not supposed to be dead and putting it to death. We saw that brother James just died like that. These were people that Jesus empowered to do things we never saw the much that James did. He was was loaded and he just died like that not only did he die like that the devil proceeded to apprehend peter you saw the blessing that peter was to the church look at all he was able to accomplish what could have happened if peter was not prayed for the bible says that fervent prayer persistent prayer was made on behalf of Peter by the church to God who are they praying to to God so what could have happened if they did not pray this is where you begin to see the power of prayer I am talking to somebody who has permitted some things in your life to be arrested by the devil and right now the devil is venturing to go deeper into some other things in your life it is time you rise upon your feet and make demand through fervent prayer the bible called it fervency fervency has to do with the urgency of the matter there are situations you don't just look at you don't just cry out to god you begin to release some fervency from your spirit i believe it was the understanding of the situation that made the church to cry out peter was made the head he was the rock he said upon you i will build a church so they saw a threat to the foundation of what the church represents this is the end of the year i don't know if you can see the threat that the devil is bringing your way over your ministry over your family over your business are you not seeing the reason why you should be fervent enough you have survived or you have survived but it's time child of God for you to rise upon your feet and say devil you have done enough but from today you are doing no more it was a fervent prayer it is a kind of prayer it is not the kind of prayer you pray and look around it is not the kind of prayer you pray and you're answering your phone calls it is not the kind of prayer you're praying and your mind is wondering it is a prayer for life and death it is a prayer to contend with the devil and it's time that god is calling his people to engage in this kind of prayer where are you child of god this is the end in of the year and the Lord is calling his people to stand in fervency the Bible says that 
when the church began to pray, God released angels. Can I tell you that until you begin to pray, there are dimensions of angelic manifestations that will not be released. He said the heavens of the heavens belong to him, but the earth he has given to mankind, the earth he gave us is for us to dominate. If you don't call God to get involved, that means you want to do it by yourself. And this is why the devil hinders prayer. He wants you to do it by yourself. Meanwhile, the Bible says it is not by might, it is not by power, it is by my spirit, says the Lord. When you engage God with the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Lord will be made available and that devil shall be broken. They did not understand the release of Peter. If you study that book of Acts of the Apostle chapter 12, you will discover that Herod Agrippa was trying to find out the mystery behind the release of Peter. He called all of the gods. He was interrogating them. He was questioning them. He was trying to find out how it leaked that this man escaped. Up till now, they are not able. They couldn't discover. And that is the mystery of the fervent prayer. When you begin to pray, you cannot describe how things began to move. But I can assure you, there is this. When you speak in tongues, the devil is confused. If you look deep into your situation, you will discover that there is a need for you to catch this fire. Somebody that is lacking fire in prayer. There is a flyer that is flowing here. It is the river of fervency that you can tap into and make the man that said, Devil, you may have killed my gems, but my Peter is not for kills. I am here to fulfill destiny. Even if you are limping like Jacob of old, you're gonna arise and the sun is gonna shine on your face again. Tell the Lord, you have brought me to the end of the year and there is so much more I need to accomplish. You need to be strong to end this year well so that you can enter into next year armed to move from victory to victory. This is a brief introduction to the prayer of fervency. Kinds of prayer. Fervency is one of them. And I pray the Lord to set you on fire to pray this kind of prayer. When the devil sees a child of God praying this kind of prayer, the devil suddenly realizes that this child of God is no more playing. He is ready. Come on now. I want to go straight to the second kind of prayer we have. And this is what? Prevailing prayers. I have some scriptures to pray. Read regarding this prevailing prayer. Prevailing prayer, I want to start reading first from the book of Isaiah 16. I always go this scripture. I want to read it from 12 to 13. The Bible says regarding the prevailing prayer. Isaiah 16 verse 12. And it shall come to pass. When it is seen that Moab is weary on the high place. That he shall come to his sanctuary to pray but he shall not prevail you know who moab is moab is an enemy he resists the children of israel he is a type of the agents of darkness who does enchantments they are the likes of witches they are the likes of occultic men they are the likes of marine spirits they are the likes of every representation of the kingdom of darkness raising altars raising enchantments against the people of god the bible says it shall come to pass on that day that he shall come up to his high place to pray and he shall not prevail. You know, there are demonic prayers. That was the kind of prayer that King Balak of Moab was bringing Balaam to pray. He would bring sacrifices, come to his high place, and tell Balaam, you know that whosoever you bless is blessed. And that was a gift God gave to him. He said, whosoever you curse is cursed. Curse me these people. And the truth is that there are curses released upon the, some people and they are not progressing. It is this kind of prayer you begin to engage in. You don't cry about it. You don't just fast about it. When you have 
done your fasting and your prayer. You engage the devil in this kind of prayer. It is called prevailing prayer. Someone need to prevail upon the other. He said it shall come to pass that Moab will come to the place where he used to pray and prevail and no longer shall he prevail. It is a prayer where you put a stop to the prevailing of the devil. Where you prevail over the devil that are prevailing over you. I want to read the next verse of Isaiah chapter 16 verse 13. The Bible says, this is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning Moab since that time. And the Lord began to shine his light into the scripture. I said, Lord, what is the meaning of since that time? You have talked about Moab not prevailing. What is this one? He said, this is the word. What word? That Moab shall no longer prevail. This is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning this same Moab. This Moab has been prevailing. But this is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning Moab. Since that time. Since what time? Don't you know that God had already declared the defeat of the enemy. That same enemy that has been prevailing over you. God has already declared that Moab shall no longer prevail. This is a scripture you can stand on and make demand that whatever is prevailing in your life, prevailing upon your children, prevailing upon your relationship, shall prevail no more. And every verdict of hell, you bring it to an end. The Lord said, he shall no longer prevail. Before we pray, I have one more scripture I'm going to read. And this one is coming from the book of Psalms. Psalm 89. Wonderful, powerful scripture. You know, the word of God is power. The word of God is a sword of the spirit. And we are shooting the sword. We are pulling it out. And we are engaging the sword of the spirit. The Bible says, as, as Psalm 89 verse 22 and 23. The word of God said, from Amplified, it said, The enemy shall not exact from him. Or do him violence. Or outwit him. Hey, hey. Nor shall the wicked afflict and humble him. I will beat down his foes before his face. And smite those that hate him. It is God's pronouncement that you should be prevailing upon anyone and anything that is an enemy of your destiny. Did you see it here? God said this enemy shall not keep exacting, shall not keep on distorting. Some of you, the enemy is every month deducting from your finances because of ill health. The enemy is deducting your peace of mind in your home because of lack of wisdom. The enemy is deducting upon your children because of lack of knowledge of what God said about your children. It is high time you start upon the word of God and said devil no more shall you prevail over me it is God's determined counsel that you begin to prevail over the enemy this is the prevailing prayer come on now I am trusting God that somebody will begin to engage in this kind of prayer and the devil will begin to shift and begin to move and begin to clear out of your territory do you know you have a territory do you know you have your place where you are supposed to dominate and the enemy is encroaching and encroaching and here you are crying out oh lord carry us down now that we perish when why he has given you the authority don't you know that god has given you the authority he said whatever you bind shall be bound we're gonna come to that we're trusting god we're gonna wrap up all these kinds of prayers yes we have 24 of them we already dealing with the 13th 12th 13th number of this make sure you get all these kinds of prayer and find out as you pray where each one belongs there may be situations around your life you are thinking you're gonna handle it with the prayer of petition god said no it is a fervent prayer that is needed you may say oh i think i need this kind of prayer of supplication and the lord said no what you need is the 
prevailing prayer. Imagine that God has a package for you that the enemy should not be extorting from you. You may say I'm making money. What about those things that are eating it up? What about the peace of mind you lack? God has promised you all round peace. Even in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of the storm, you are supposed to enjoy the goodness of God. And the enemy is sustaining. He said, the enemy shall not exact from him. You should not pay tribute to the devil. You should not pay. He said, should not exact by force. It's like paying tax by force to the devil. And look at what he said. He shall not do him violence. He shall not outwit. You know the outwit is that two of them are in combat. That is the prevailing we talked about here. He said it shall come to pass. That same Moab, hallelujah, that have been prevailing. Hey, yeah, yeah. He said he shall prevail no more. He will come to the same places where he releases enchantments. Hey, hey. He will come to the same places where he releases those spells. And the Bible says he shall no longer prevail. I speak into somebody's life hearing me today. I speak into the life of every child of God hearing us today. That everywhere we are the enemy has been prevailing over your destiny. I declare in the name of Jesus. They prevail no more. You begin to rise upon your feet and exercise your authority over the devil. Over the wicked one. Over the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Every place in your life where the enemy has been prevailing, the word of God said he shall prevail no more. Rise upon your feet and begin to take your authority. I want to say at this point that there is a tragedy happening in the body of Christ today where people are running from place to place and looking for prayers, looking for miracles. Don't you know the Bible says that signs and wonders shall follow them that believe they don't follow after signs we don't run after signs the bible says this signs shall follow us when you pass something should be following you there are signs and there are wonders enough of all this one here and there to pray for you don't you know that god has given you the power the power of prayer breaks the hold of the devil and when you pass this to situations they are supposed to be miracles signs and wonders what is that because you have broken what the devil have used to break around your life you have broken it through this is a sign this is a wonder that should follow every child of god no wonder we are having heaps and heaps of prayer and prayer requests pray for me pray for me pray for you don't you know that you have the authority to bind that it will be bound Jesus said I say unto you you can say to this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea we mentioned it this morning it is called a prophetic prayer you establish what God has said you declare it like the prayer that Elijah prayed, Elijah prayed over the land he said it's a barren land the land is situated in a good place but it is barren he began to pour the salt and declare and said thus says the lord the land is healed and it was healed and produced that is prophetic declarations in prayer don't you know that circumstances and situations that come your way child of god you are supposed to rule over it you are not supposed to have any tears to shed for the devil if you have to cry and worship god in the place of worship that's okay but when you confront the devil he shouldn't see your tears he shouldn't see your confusion he should see your boldness the bible says the righteous is as bold as a lion don't you know that you are from the lion of the tribe of judah dry your tears and rise upon your feet i said i am a survivor all that have happened before now i survived it 
and from henceforth I declare in the name of Jesus I take my place I want to pray for somebody who needs some fire to be ignited in them I can assure you that the fire of God is burning in this place the fire of God is burning it's gonna set some people somebody that is ready to be set on fire I mean holy fire where the Bible says that God makes his ministers flames of fire his ministers are his servants are you a child of God then you're a servant of God and you are supposed to shine and to blaze like a fire and when you come around everything that the enemy used to tie around you there are some people when you make progress you see yourself coming back to square one you will try all you do to progress and the enemy seems as if he's pulling you with a rope and pulling you back to where you started and that is how your life have gone in circles you need some fire that fire will cut that link will cut that rope will cut that invisible thing that overpowers you and brings you back to square one I want to pray for somebody that is trusting God to set them in the place of prayer until they prevail the Bible says it shall come to pass and I declare upon your life it shall come to pass in your life that the same place is where the devil has been prevailing in your life he shall prevail no more now go ahead and say father thank you for this section we are we are handling kinds of prayer say Lord I am understanding and I'm long to begin to express all of these things that I'm packages you have for me go ahead and say father I thank you I thank you for this package you have for me and Lord I assess it in the name of Jesus as you are thanking the Lord began to say Lord position me to begin to assess all kinds of prayer and from henceforth no longer will I be subject to whatever the enemy has been throwing at me I arise on my feet I prevail say in the name of Jesus the enemy shall no longer exact upon me not in my finances not in my health not in my joy not in my progress I prevail upon whatever the enemy has been using to prevail over me in the name of Jesus that is your portion that is your portion. The Lord has been waiting for you at this point to usher you. You know, God has given you so many promises. You wonder why it's not coming to pass. This is the reason. Understand kinds of prayer. Engage in it and nothing can stand your way. I am praying for you that the remaining days of this year, you begin to tidy up your life and put the right things in their rightful places. There is a place to work. There is a place to pray. There is a place to stand against the devil. There is a place to stand by faith. And if you put all these things in the rightful places you will be amazed at how things will flow in the name of Jesus I declare that every harassment of the enemy in your life comes to an end and the blood of Jesus speaks over you everyone hearing or somebody you want to give your life to Christ is a beautiful opportunity to give your life to Christ and clean up every mess in your life before now and the Lord is ready to receive you say after me say Lord Jesus thank you for your word I accept your word and I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior wash away my sins accept me oh Lord as your child and write my name in the book of life say Lord I start a journey with you today and I ask that you hold me and give me the power to live as a child of God in the name of Jesus I declare as you have prayed this prayer that in the name of Jesus the enabling power of the Holy Ghost comes upon you to live for him to stand for him to shine in the midst of darkness I tell you that the same testimony of Zacchaeus can be your testimony instant transformation instant declaration and instant display of the transformation that have taken place that will come upon somebody tonight in the name of Jesus you go forth and begin to look into your life and put things in place we'll be here tomorrow morning we'll be here again trusting the Lord that everything that needs to be handled will be handled before the year comes to an end the lord bless you the lord keep you until i come your way tomorrow morning by the grace of god keep on living victoriously in jesus name amen i must become all i was made for i was made for i'm gonna do that with excitement come on thank you jesus